Welcome everyone, everyone to the second session of learning the Great Compassion Mantra. And I hope you've all had a good week in running through what we've already been through. The, um, the first few lines. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off with a little bit of um, quiet and, and just being with our breath and our body just for a, a minute or two just to arrive and allow a few more participants to, to turn up and then we'll make a start. <clears throat> So focusing on the breath, try and take your breathing deeply into the belly, which is a good way to start breathing for this chanting session. Sitting in a way that we can open the chest out And remembering our dedication to Kuan Yin, the uh, forces of compassion in the world, um, the heart of the reason why we're learning this chant is to connect deeply to that inner sense of compassion. So let's make a start then. So. What I'd like to do is to chant together uh, as far as we got last week, the first week, and then we'll pick it up from there. So we'll just make a start, okay? <clears throat> Namo Okay, so let's go on to the next line, which is Sa Pan La Faye. Sa Pan La Faye. Sa Pan La Faye. Sa Pan La Faye. Now we chant that. Sapan la faye. Sapan la faye. Sapan la faye. Okay. Next line. Swoda no da sie. So repeat that. Swoda no da sie. Swoda no da sie. Swoda no da sie. Now we chant that. Swada no da sie. Swada no da sie. Swada no da sie. 
Okay, so let's go back to the first line we've just learnt and chant the two of those together. Sapanla faye swada nordasye Sapanla faye swada nordasye Sapan la faye swada nordasye Okay, next line. <clears throat> Bit longer this one. Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye. Right, now we'll, we'll chant this. Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye. Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye. Namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the first line we started today, Sapan La Faye, and run all of those three lines together. Sapan La Faye, Swada Nordasye Sapan la faye swada noda se namo si ji li tuo yi menga li ye. Sapan la faye swada Okay, next line. Pelu jidi shur for la ling torpe. Pelu jidi shur for la ling torpe. Pelu jidi shur for la ling torpe. Pelu ji di shu fu la ling tu pe. Okay. So now we'll chant that line. Pelu ji di shu fu la ling tu pe. Pelu Pelu ji 
So now we'll go back to our first line for today. Sapan Lafaye and chant all four lines together. Sapan Lafaye Swadanodasye Namosi Chanted Namo no la jinju Namo no la jinju Namo no la jinju So we're going to go back now to our first line of today and run all those five lines together. Sapan la faye se namo si Namo 
So we chant that line. to the beginning for today. So let's chant that line now. Sapa to do 
Shushu Peng Sapa Atu Dushu Peng Sapa Atu Dushu Peng Okay. So we'll go back to today's beginning. We'll go as far as there. Sapan la fae swada no da se namo si ji li to yi This next line, I think, will make the last line for today. So this last line, Er Shu Yun. Er Shu Yun. Er Shu Yun. Er Shu Yun. Let's chant that. A shu yun A shu yun A shu yun <clears throat> Okay, so back to today's beginning Sa pan la fa ye swa da no da se na mo si ji li to yi meng ga li ye pa lu ji di sha fa la leng to pa na mo no la jin ju si li mo ha pan do sam ye 
on my copy um, to show where we've got to today <clears throat> so yeah we've we've passed some pretty long lines today it's quite dense quite quite challenging to learn these um, but what I'd recommend is um, keep listening to the mantra as a whole because uh, you'll find some sections will start to just lodge themselves in your mind um, just through repeated listening. Um, but the the idea of taking a line a day or thereabouts, uh, just learning a small amount each day is is good because it, it gives you um, an achievable goal. It's it's good not to get overwhelmed by the size of this mantra um but yeah a line a day or thereabouts um gives you something to get a handle on and to keep returning to when you've got an idle moment when you're having a cup of tea or hanging out the washing or whatever you're doing at home um just use that as your mantra for the day um and then keep joining it on to what you've done before as, as we've done in today's class um, the other thing is don't worry too much about the pronunciation i know we all struggle a little bit with this because it is chinese but you know do give it your best effort but don't worry if it's not perfect because it it won't be and everyone does it slightly differently um, so the main thing is to get you know, the intention is to generate a one-pointed focus, attention, and to channel our intention towards compassion and universal kindness. So the most important thing is when you start to do this chant is to really contact that, um, that feeling, that, that sense of, of intention. Just the when I learned this this mantra, it was many many years ago. Um, it's uh, something that is forever etched in my brain, in my mind. Um, the the circumstances, um, 
Tanistra and I were uh, ordained as nuns at uh, Adjan Semedo's monastery in Chithurst. And um, at that time, there was just a small cottage for uh, the women, the nuns involved. Um, and there was four of them when I turned up. There was about 15 monks. And the, uh, the accommodation for the women was, was overflowing. Um, there was a, a small pigsty in the garden that one of the nuns had decided she was going to do that up. So she moved into that place. Um, I'd been living in an alternative sort of uh, community in Wales before I uh, joined the monastery and they'd been making these uh, tents called benders, which are old gypsy uh, accommodation made out of uh, woven hazel uh, branches with a tarpaulin over the top. This is a traditional gypsy method of, of, of living in a, a sort of, uh, transient way and Tanistra and I were given permission to build one of these tents in the in the woods so we there was an old platform there which had been used for something I don't know if it was the gamekeeper or something but there was this beautiful woodland looking over onto a, a lake and we started to build this bender as it's called um, chopping down uh, hazel rods from the woods sticking them in the ground and then bending them up, twisting them around to make a kind of like an igloo shape really with a, a front door and then putting the tarpaulin over the top. And we, uh, we built a, a shrine at the far end of it and put all our Kwon Yin's and our white Taras and photographs of Master Wa and everything at the far end. And we called this the Great Compassion Temple which uh, I've got a photo somewhere. I don't, I'll maybe be able to dig it out. But this, this was our dwelling place for, for six weeks uh, in the, what's called the Vasa, the Rains Retreat. And during that time, we managed to really uh, spend a lot of time learning this mantra. Um, so it was a very unusual time. <clears throat> We all moved on to a place called Amravati a, a, a year later because there just wasn't enough space for us all. Uh, but it was a very unusual time. We were allowed to sort of um, kind of go slightly wild, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah, it, 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 it was wonderful in a way. And um, waking up with the sound of the ducks quacking on the lake. And you'd have to get your flashlight and sort of walk for about 20 minutes to get up to the main house where the, the morning puja was happening at five o'clock in the morning. Um, but it was wonderful being surrounded with nature at that time. And it was just a great time to, to just really focus on learning that chant as, as well as all the other monastic duties that we had. So, um, I thought I'd share that little image with you. Um, uh, Mel, I've got a picture of it if you oh, want me to share great. it. Oh, great. Oh, do. Have you got yeah. it there? Sorry, this disembodied voice is, <laughs> <laughs> is actually Tanisara. Is Tanisara <laughs> lurking around? She's there. I'm lurking in the background here. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I'm just going to show you the picture. Um, just give me a second. got to uh, open it up on the desktop. And... Uh, I've got some that we can send. I'll find out. I'll drag out some more. That um, can you see it? Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was our heating. One of our heating systems. That's an old <laughs> um, pressure cooker, and we used to. We had a little fire, and we we heat bricks in the fire. I mean, it was really freezing. I actually think it was like the whole Vasa, like three months. I think it was, was it? months. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then we had that yeah. paraffin. I mean, I don't know. I yeah, mean, that so paraffin, heater, paraffin heater, yeah. Paraffin with yeah. a long pipe that went through. And, yeah. you know, so between the little bit of the flame from the paraffin and the hot bricks. But we had so much fun. Yeah, and you can see the yeah. top holdings there. But yeah. I've got some more pics. I'll, I'll, um, I'll send them out to you all. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that was amazing. Yeah, well done. But we, that's really when we really kind of nabbed the Kuan Yin mantra. And I think that's when the Great Compassion Man, I think because we were doing it all the time. Yeah. We were like, you know, it was yeah. like 
breathing it in and living on it and running up and so, down that lane to the monastery for yeah. the morning pujas. I remember yeah. running through snow one day, like, you know, Namo Kwanji and for sun. Namo Hela Dana. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's also okay. wonderful yeah. about walking, isn't it? When you're walking, it's great to do chanting somehow or learning things. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, brilliant. I think we'll call it a day today, but it's been really lovely. And yeah, before we go, we'll just do a, a quiet um, dedication of blessings. Um, so we dedicate the blessings and uh, goodness of, of our actions, our chanting, our intentions today to all living beings, um, especially those in areas of conflict and, and those who are currently homeless and refugees. So I'll see you all next week. <laughs>